have been in the real estate business for about 35 years. And uh, actually my dad preceded me and my grandfather preceded me and now my son is fourth generation. Now, my dad used to say that the commercial real estate business is somewhat like a manufacturing plant. The developer, the role of a developer is somewhat like a manufacturing plant where at one end of the manufacturing plant by the loading dock area, the tractor trailer loads pull up. But the only difference in the real estate business versus say the widget business is that the tractor trailer loads need to be filled with cash <laughs> because this is a very capital intensive business. So while real estate developers have uh, very inflated ego and uh, a lot of people think I sit in a vault counting gold coins and I fly around in private jets all day and go on uh, two month vacations in, in the Riviera. It really isn't exactly like that. Uh, what it actually boils down to is at times I'm a professional beggar for capital. And uh, even though we've got some of the largest institutional joint venture partners in the world who we've had great relationships with, the money runs hot and cold. So for example, we partnered a while back ago, and I probably shouldn't say the name, but let's just say it's one of the largest financial institutions in the world. And we hit the ball out of the ballpark. We literally hit like a 40% IRR overnight with this particular fund. But two years later, they had decided to pull back from the real estate business where we felt it was like the second or third inning of the recovery. And so we saw a lot more opportunity, but that spigot had turned off, even though we hit a home run for them. They extolled our virtues, in fact, talked about us at a national conference. Uh, then the money just sort of turned off 